So today we're gonna to learn how to make pyramids with spray paint. I'm gonna do one side with a colored image and one side kind of on a gray scale. So I'm using gray and black and white on the right side. I'm gonna use some different colors on the left. Just taking some scrap pieces of poster board, just those edges is all I need. I'm gonna to toss some heavy objects on the edges here just to hold it down, prevent under overspray from getting underneath where I want the pyramid to be. This stage is all just about mapping out my scene. So all I'm gonna do is a nice light little mist of some black spray paint, just to give that outline of where the pyramid is gonna show up. Now that we know where the paint needs to be, we're gonna go in and do just that. If you don't have gray like I'm using here on the right, uh, you could definitely just use black and white. They're gonna kind of combine to make that nice gray effect. I'm coming in with some actual gray. I'm using Montana Gold spray paint in today's video, a little bit of Rust-Oleum clear coat uh, gloss as well for uh, manipulating the paint once it's dried a little bit too much. Other side, I'm gonna come in with some fluorescent green and a couple of other greens here going into the medium or forest green and then that really dark, deep green on the right. Just like making a planet, it's pretty simple. We're gonna make sure we throw on a neutral, in this case going back over with black, laying down our plastic bag. You're just gonna drag your fingers across to create some texture. Make sure you let the paint dry a little bit before you do this step, you'll get some better texture results, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Popping your hand inside that bag, gonna go over on the other side and do the same thing. Maybe a couple of passes on top of this. Here I spray some clear coat, that's for when that paint gets sticky, using a clean edge of my bag and getting that bright kind of textured result popping up from underneath. A little bit of a touch up on the other side here. Wanted to do this side by side because I know a lot of people who are just getting started are just picking up black and white. I have a lot of black and white spray paint tutorials on the channel so check those out. You can go pretty far without getting too many colors if you're just trying to see if this form of art is suitable to you. Uh, my bet is that it will be. Most people are gonna get some pretty awesome results in their first few attempts. Uh, so with this, we're placing down those stencils again. Now I'm placing uh, our planet stencil over top. So each of these is gonna be an identical image pretty much, just with a different scale. Uh, just map out where I want uh, my moon on the right side to go. So I'm laying down that gray and black yet again. On the left hand side, I'm going to do, you know, a bit more uh, of a varied contrasting color, uh, at least for my sky. So with that, I'm coming in with that same kind of green going with the medium green first, then the bright green, a little bit of white on here just to give it some brightness and color. Those neutrals really help. So white or black over top um, before you texturize anything is really going to give you a nice effect. So I'll let that dry for just a moment or two. Uh, here I'm going to do a couple different things. I'm just going to drag my fingers across this one. Uh, it's going to be a similar technique to creating water, which we're going to do in the bottom section. And it's going to give a pretty cool uh, planet look as well. Coming in here with some fluorescent green. A lot of people just shade with black on the bottom side, but I find if you grade those colors out, so we did that neon green down to the medium green, uh, it really gives it a more subtle shadow effect. Other side here, we're using the plastic bag technique pulling off that paint, revealing a nice kind of cool mountain look. And for here, I'm gonna go in and just shade out this bottom section uh, with some, I believe, transparent black in this case, and then coming in with some flat black. A Little bit more dark green on the bottom over here, or some fluorescent, translucent black, I believe. So the colored side, I do wanna have the the colors contrast a little bit. So I'm going with a green planet, green pyramid, and coming in with some purple uh, background or uh, you know space sky in the distance there. Uh, throwing in some pink, this is really gonna make that green planet and green pyramid pop. Uh, so just gonna play around with this a little bit. Uh, there's no, no wrong answers here, so just do something that, that is visually pleasing to you. And I'm uh, gonna put a little bit of black throughout this. I'm using the transparent black from Montana just to add some very depth to the scene in the background here so it's not all flat colors. Uh, can control is really just gonna be the key to getting these nice results. So take your time, learn how your can spray uh, and act accordingly when you're coming in uh, to create some gradients. Tossing just a little bit of stars on here. Uh, today's painting on either side is just a really simple little 
uh, composition, nothing too crazy about it. Um, but that's that beautiful contrasty look here with that bright green and that purple and pink background. Other side's a little more simple to get that contrast. Uh, we're coming in with black. We're gonna throw uh, definitely some stars in here, maybe a little mist, we'll see. Got some straight white, pardon me, transparent white. Uh, that's gonna give us that gassy, kind of cloudy effect in the background, just breaking up that nighttime sky. And I did throw just a little bit of color in here, which is some transparent orange and red, uh, just to give it a little bit of a difference. But you can skip that if you don't have those colors and if you're just going for that black and white scene. A little bit more stars in this one because we got that black contrasty background. Make sure we fill that up with some vibrant stars. Just flicking the paint. If you guys are just getting started, make sure to check out the beginner tutorial series. There's a ton of different tutorials uh, now we're going to add some depth to these pyramids, so a 3D look. Uh, with that, you want to do like a little off-center angled placement here and just spray some, uh, some transparent black. I really like the transparency for this step because it's going to give you uh, a little bit of a transparent look. It's not going to be that stark, thick black. We're just giving that little bit of a line uh, to show that the pyramids have different sides to it and that the light's coming from one kind of additional side. If you do that dead center in the middle, uh, I do find it looks a little worse. So I uh, haven't been doing a ton of pyramids, but decided to bust one out and playing around. Definitely angle that uh, pyramid line, kind of how I have it here. Here we're going to come in and we're going to create some terrain just in front of our pyramids here. So breaking up that sky and the background. Uh, here I'm just spraying some black and then some white on top. The other side I've gone with purple and some black. Uh, again, that can control is going to allow me to put the paint exactly where I want it. Coming across here with some transparent white on the other side, uh, just giving that misty kind of gaseous foggy effect that's going to come in handy to create some depth in this painting. If you guys are liking the video, make sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe and turn notifications on so you can stay in tune with when these videos are going live. Back at it again with a plastic bag. Uh, we're going to go in and just texturize that blacked out area at the bottom here, uh, revealing some pretty cool looking terrain. I'm coming back in with some clear coat because that paint dried on me just a little bit too much. Going in for a second layer and you'll see kind of uh, those natural looking highlights that are kind of created by the fingernail inside of the uh, plastic bag here. Uh, so you can actually add highlights as you go to the painting and kind of a set and forget it method to make some cool mountains or terrain. Other side here, we're getting kind of those snowy, rocky looking mountains just with that white on black. I think that's a pretty good base for what we're trying to do in the midground of this painting here. Next, we're doing a bit of a longer straight edge. We're just gonna create some water. So factor in what's going on in your sky. We got some pink, we got some purple. Um, we have a green planet and pyramid in the middle. So I'm gonna lay down some green just to kind of act as a reflective shadow here. Uh, the outside, I'm going to come in and do a little bit of purple and pink. And then we're going to go in and add some white and a ton of clear coat and just drag our fingers across uh, to get that nice water effect. This is the stage you really don't want to overwork this. Uh, you want to let the paint kind of speak for itself. And if you really go back and forth a whole bunch, you're going to get a bit of a muddy look. Uh, so slap on some clear coat and just a straight drag across the page just a few times here. Um, you're seeing it muddy up just a little bit. You don't wanna go too far with this step. You just want some of those colors to bleed through and get that nice kind of glossy water look. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the one side. I'm adding a bit more of a reflective line uh, in here just to give it a little bit more of movement in the water. Going with a fresh set of gloves, I don't want that colored uh, paint to transfer onto my next side here. So I'm coming in again a bit easier with the black spray paint, blacking out that bottom section. I'm gonna come back in here and touch up my little boo boo and white down the water line, a little bit in the center here, and a little bit of clear coat. Uh, sometimes a lot of clear coat. Uh, this is the one section you really want that paint to be moving. So dragging across, just giving that reflective water look and really try not to overwork this, this paint here to get a blobby effect. You want a nice kind of subtle looking waterline. There we go. Two side-by-side -side paintings, a really simple creation with spray paint art. Make sure you sign those paintings. 
Uh, submit your artwork over on the subreddit, Aristotle on Reddit, and I'd love to check out your artwork. Here's an easy little project if you're stuck in quarantine, grab some spray paint cans, rewatch this video, and make some awesome looking spray paint art for yourself. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in a future spray paint art video. Make sure you toss some clear coat over top, get those uh, sealed up and restore that vibrance. As you spray it on there, you definitely see the colors kind of come back to life. Uh, once again, using Montana Gold spray paint cans and Rust-Oleum clear coat gloss. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys again next time.